students who are uh, darker skinned, uh, also known as Fitzpatrick 4, 5, and 6. Um, it's safer than doing um, laser skin resurfacing. There's less thermal injury, so there's less issues with pigmentation. This is the PRP. Her uh, blood has been drawn and uh, separated, and the platelet poor plasma and the platelet rich plasma are all going to be re injected um, into her face. So, the uh, what does this do? It rejuvenates the skin, it improves collagen, um, it's also uh, been shown to improve the um, pigment in the skin, so patients with melasma or uh, hyperpigmentation um, will all improve with this um, treatment. This is Anne's second treatment and she's already noticed an improvement in her, um, she's felt her skin is tighter, her skin is uh, plumper and has noticed a more even um, color on the pigmentation. So we're going to get started here. I wrote, um, the difference between my microneedling and other patients, people's microneedling is uh, what I've done is I've done nerve blocks on her face, so her face is pretty much numb. So not only uh, do I put the PRP on top of the face and then microneedle, I actually inject it into the face and I finally get a more robust response in the skin rejuvenation. So here we go. I also definitely like to go around the eyes to rejuvenate the under eye area. Now you know why it's called a vampire facial because there is blood associated with it, but we are also using the patient's own blood. So she has areas of hyperpigmentation that I'm also going to be injecting or targeting specifically with the PRP. How are you doing? Good. She has a hard time talking because of the numbing medication that she has in here. I'm just going to adjust this so that we are... I'm going to go on the upper lip, okay? Mm And I'm also happy to rub the PRP onto the skin here because I'm going to go with the microneedling next. When we have one, one syringe left, you can let me know. First, can I get a clean for our foot? Yes. Pretty comfortable, right? Yes. Very. We're going to go to the forehead now, okay? Okay. Turn your head to the side for a little bit. The recovery from this is about 24, 48 hours. Uh, by this time tomorrow, her skin really will be, she'll be presentable. 
She can go out. How long did it take you last time, Anne? A day or two, two days. Two days. Mm -hmm. So for her, it took two days last time. So she's she's not going to be out probably for anything important tomorrow. Mm -mm. Um, but by the day after, she'll be fine. That's the last one. There? Yes. Great. Well, it's not the last one, but I'm going to let you know when. Okay. We move. Great. So I know for ants, uh, problem areas are also under the ice. I'm going to do an extra treatment around there. here. Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep those two for the end, okay? Um, so, won't you pass me the microneedling device now? So now we're going to go ahead with the microneedling device. my micro needling pen here. I can adjust the um, depth of the treatments and because she's numb I can actually go a little deeper with her. You okay Ann? Yes. Perfect. Let me know if I'm hurting you, okay? massage. Let me know if I'm hurting you, okay? Okay. 